Over here on my left, I have the Tortuga Air, which was my first travel backpack that I bought for a solo trip to England in 2015. They've made a lot of progress in that time, and today I wanna to show you the latest update of the Tortuga travel backpack, which they're calling the V4. I've been following Tortuga since the beginning of my one bag journey. They've gone through several iterations of travel backpacks from the Outbreaker, Set Out, several duffels and smaller laptop backpacks. This latest version takes many elements of their other backpacks and incorporates them into a slimmed down version of their previous Outbreaker model. It keeps the same simple clamshell style design, but they removed some of the interior pockets. They've also simplified the front organizational compartment as well as the laptop compartment as well as reducing the dimensions, the weight, while still keeping a comfortable backpack carry system that now is much easier to adjust. The V4 comes in two sizes, a larger 40 liter, and I have the smaller 30 liter size here. The specs on the website are accurate. It's about 20 and a half inches long, 12.2 wide, and seven and a half deep, or 52, 31, 19. The weight's about four pounds, if you include the hip belts. It's a little bit long to be used as a personal item in most airlines, but the slimmed down design on the V4 is gonna make it much easier to use as a carry-on on a lot more airlines. And then before I go into the details on this bag, I'll do a quick capacity test. I'll fill it with packing peanuts and then transfer it into this marked container. All right, fully packed with packing peanuts. I'll transfer them into the container. So I'm coming in right at the 30 liter mark here, so I'd say the listed capacity on this bag is accurate. Tortuga is what I consider to be a buy it for life company. They use some of the best materials and hardware available and they back it up with a lifetime warranty. They're using a new fabric on the V4 that I haven't seen used yet by any other bag company. It's a durable waterproof sailcloth material called Shell 200. It's very similar to the X-Pack that they used in the previous Outbreaker version, but this stuff is lighter, it's stronger, and it's 100% recycled. In keeping with the waterproof theme, they use these large number eight YKK zippers on all the external pockets, as well as high quality buckles and adjusters. There's three pockets here that you might want protected, and they have locking zippers on all three of them, the laptop, the main, and the front organizational compartment. And these two right here are close enough together that you can lock them together using one lock. They slim down the aesthetic on the outside of the V4 as well. It's a lot sleeker looking now. They smoothed out the front and they rounded out the corner. So it's a lot less boxy than the previous Outbreaker. They changed the orientation on the zippers to give the bag a smoother look compared to the other one, but it still has similar organization. They moved the orientation on that front slash pocket up here in the top. It's sleeker, zipper lines up with the seam here, so it's harder to see. They shrunk the pocket a little bit, only goes down to about here. Kind of more the standard top slash pocket that you see on bags. About big enough for sunglasses, maybe travel charge or something like that. This other pocket was moved over here on the side. I think this was another good design choice because it lines up again with this seam and there's a little fabric flap here that hides it. So from the front, you can barely even tell there's a zipper here. This pocket is flat, but it's quite a bit larger goes all the way over to the back over here, but only goes up to about here on the top and here on the bottom. I think this is another good design feature because it overlaps a little bit with this top pocket, but they're separate enough that your gear is not gonna be stacked on top of each other. And stopping here makes it much easier to get your gear so it's not falling all the way to the bottom of the pack. This front organizational panel, kind of a half zip here, very similar in style to the older version, but I think it looks way better. This fabric feels much better quality. It's less shiny. The stitching is way better over here. And I think this is a nice touch with this little fuzzy lining here overlapping around the top of the pocket. There's a lot of organization in here. This front pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. There's another little zippered pocket right here. Goes down to here. There's a little fuzzy line sleeve on the top, goes down to here for phone, small tablet, notebook, pen, pencil, and then some little card dividers. I like the style on the two side water bottle pockets, but I wish that they could have made them just a little bit bigger. They are limited in the size though, because this thing has to be sewn into the seam. So because this is a smaller bag, they really couldn't make them any wider than they did. It is a good design though, and it works well. It's kind of a zigzag shaped piece of fabric here with a little stretchy pocket, meaning you can fit your water bottle in there, but when you take it out, 
this thing stretches and lays flat down on the side of the bag. They're big enough for about a slim water bottle or coffee mug. This is a 17 ounce water bottle and you can see it's nice and tall. So this thing fits in there, it goes all the way, almost up to the top. It's very snug. So even full of water, this thing really isn't in danger of falling out. They made the one on the other side slightly shorter so you could accommodate the carry handle. Same design, same style, but let me just show you what the water bottle looks like in there. You can see it doesn't come up quite as far, but it is still pretty snug and unlikely this thing's gonna fall out. However, unless you're carrying around two water bottles, this is a great place for a little mini travel umbrella. One thing worth mentioning that they had on the Outbreaker that they don't have on the V4 is this compression strap here in the top. However, this bag is slim, compact enough that I never really feel like it needed one. Tortuga is well known for having very good, comfortable carry systems. Like the rest of this bag, the straps on the V4 are also a slimmed down version of the ones on the Outbreaker, but I think they did a good job on reducing the weight and bulk on these things while also keeping them very comfortable. And I think the proportion on these straps makes more sense on a travel backpack this size. Well, in reality, the straps on the original Outbreaker are kind of bulky, large, and maybe a bit of an overkill. And even though they're smaller, you can see these things are still quite large, nice and wide. They have very thick, soft foam padding with a mesh backing here, adjustable sternum strap, and top load adjusters. This back padding is also very thick, same mesh covered foam. See how thick it is from the side with a nice air channel going down the middle. I love bags that use removable hip straps because depending on what you're carrying and what you're doing, sometimes they can be very useful, but sometimes you just really don't need them. These straps are also very thick and well padded. They both have a zippered pocket here and they're gonna attach with this adjustable strap down here to this buckle on the bottom of the bag. Clipped together with a huge fat buckle. If you have a lot of weight in this bag, these things are gonna do a great job on transferring the weight off your shoulders onto your hips. Another great design improvement on the V4 is the adjustability on the shoulder straps. The old Outbreaker had an adjustable harness system, but you had to remove this tab, slide it out, and then refeed it through several of these fabric loops. It works, but it's a little bit cumbersome. The V4, however, is now extremely simple. You just pull the Velcro backing here, slide the straps up to where you want them to be, and then press it down to reattach. And because these are adjustable, it's gonna make it so this pack is gonna be more comfortable on a much wider range of body types and torso lengths. It's gonna help line the hip belts up so they fit where you want them to fit on your body. The last external feature to show you is a laptop compartment still located on the back of the bag behind the backpack straps. Still a top opening compartment, but instead of opening all the way down the pack, laying flat like the old version, this one is just a top zip going down about a third of the way in the pack. To show you the older model, they got rid of most of these zippered pockets over here and just kind of slimmed down the design. It now just has one shorty zippered mesh pocket here on the front. And then the fabric on the inside is that fuzzy lining and it's all over now instead of just being on the inside of the sleeve. There's two sleeves in here still, a larger one to hold up to a 16 inch laptop and then a smaller one for a tablet. They both have a false bottom, the tablet goes down to here and then the laptop sleeve goes down to about here, keeping it around an inch off the bottom of the pack to protect it when you set your pack down. And then you can see there's this backward zipper here. It looks like it's an error, but it's not. It's just where they're storing the plastic frame sheet here in the back, which helps give the bag structure and it's gonna protect your laptop from this side. Now moving to the interior organization, it has a full zipper, goes around, opens into a classic clamshell suitcase style design with a large main compartment on this side. And then on the lid, it is a slimmer zippered pocket, kind of a built-in packing cube. Because this bag is a little slimmer, it's about 12 inches wide, it's not gonna accommodate my standard 14 inch wide packing cube, but I can put it in this way. It leaves me kind of some room around on the edges to Tetris some other gear in. Small compression packing cube, and then over here on the side, I have plenty of room, toiletry kit, packable day pack, and then these mini 
travel binoculars. For good weight distribution, this is the outside of the bag, so it's gonna be better to not put heavy items in here. This packing cube is gonna be good. Large bulky things, I have a puffy jacket, towel, maybe some sandals, stuff like that. And then to get a realistic weight on this bag, I'm gonna pack kind of a standard set of gear that I use for travel and all these front organizational pockets. This is what the V4 looks like fully packed out with a set of travel gear, just weighted. It's about 6.2 kilograms or 13.7 pounds. This is what the bag looks like on me fully packed out. Again, one of the more comfortable travel backpacks I've tested. Nice thick shoulder straps, thick comfortable back padding, and these hip belts do a great job in taking the weight off your shoulders onto your hips. There's a lot of adjustability on this thing, and you're probably gonna have to mess with the shoulder strap adjustment to get the hip belt to sit where you want. Also, top load adjusters are gonna help bring the weight of the bag closer to your back if you need it. In summary, V4 is another great pack by Tortuga. I think they did a great job in incorporating a lot of the design elements that they're known for into a much slimmer, sleek down model. I love the look of the bag now. The front is much less busy. They removed a lot of interior pockets, but there's still way more organization on this thing than you're probably gonna need. My only criticisms on this bag are the size of the water bottle pockets and the weight. I think these are a great design. I just wish they were a little bit bigger, but I'm not really sure how they would do that. And then the full weight on this pack empty, including the hip belts is four pounds, which is very much on the higher end that you're gonna find in travel backpacks. But again, I think it's a trade off between weight and features. For example, if you want a much lighter bag like the Dragonfly here, still has decent backpack straps, but they're not as thickly padded and they're not adjustable like the V4. There's also a ton of organization in this bag as well as a very well padded laptop sleeve here in the back. So again, if you're looking for a full featured travel backpack made with great materials, a ton of organization, some very comfortable carry system, then I think this is a great choice. However, if you think weight is more important and you would rather have a very lightweight pack, don't care as much about features, then you're probably gonna think that this bag is a little on the heavy side. That's all I have on the review of the new Tortuga V4 travel backpack, 30 liter size here. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And again, thanks for watching.